Today we will speak about how to take a good quality photo of an artwork. Uh, this is uh, a part of any assessment and uh, submission requirement. And it is important to follow these requirements and to make a good quality photo. It is also important uh, if you make a good quality photo and take it properly, uh, then you have uh, the result that you can display uh, for exhibition for the virtual art uh, gallery and to share with other people. So it is not only an artwork assessment task that you do, but it is also a photo taken of your artwork. And uh, in case of online learning, this is an essential part of the submission and it is a submission requirement that we need to follow. So, uh, the lesson today is about how to take a good quality photo of a completed artwork. So, today is a cloudy day and it is really good for taking a photo of an artwork because there is no uh, bright light, no contrast between shadows and light parts and the light uh, spread uh, around evenly and we have very soft uh, light in our room. So let's check the option when the work is on the table. So you see the light that goes on the table, then we uh, place the camera over an artwork and we see uh, the image in our camera, how it looks. Now let's change the position. Here's another position. We put the work on the floor. And you can see that the light is more evenly spread around and because floor is quite low, there is more light comes from around and reflection from the walls also. And the uh, clearance of the artwork is better. We see more values, more details in such case. Additionally, it is much better position uh, for your uh, shot because you are above your artwork and you can better position a camera over your artwork so that it is straight over and it doesn't have um, angles like this uh, which you have usually when you put uh, your artwork on a, a tall table. So the position of um, Art of an artwork on uh, the floor is much better uh, for a good quality uh, photo. So we locate camera straight over so that it is really well seen and then we press a button.